Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to episode 18 of the Tegrity Online Dynasty. In today's episode, we have our week one by week of the season. So I'm going to try and use this episode kind of as a preseason episode just to show you guys uh, how our roster is looking, recruiting, uh, the preseason polls, and most importantly, our schedule because I think it's really exciting. The first thing that I wanted to show you guys was actually the preseason polls. And as you've probably already seen, Penn State is started off ranked at number two in the nation, only behind Clemson, which is great news for us. I also have Oklahoma here at five, USC who lost to Pitt in the national championship at six, and Pitt is actually all the way down at 12, even though they won the national championship, kind of a bit disrespected in my opinion by the polls. Scrolling through here, we've also got West Virginia at 16, Wake Forest at 19, there's a two user teams there. And then scrolling down here to 50, we will see Michigan State, who's actually another user team this year. So I'll scroll over there right now, show you guys an update of all the user teams that we have right now. We've got 10, which is awesome to see. Uh, a couple people played this week, including Northwestern. We've also got Grote28 as Purdue and Shiesty Shack as Michigan State. And obviously, we're Penn State for another year. Excited to see how this season goes. So the next thing that I wanted to show you guys was our schedule because we have the hardest schedule in all of college football. Starting off in just the first seven games, we have six user games separated by one bye and number 11 Ohio State thrown in there as well, ended with Purdue before we continue through our Big Ten schedule and finishing off with a bye week 15. But this is by far the hardest schedule in college football. Any chance that I got to schedule a user game, I did. I'm super excited about it and I feel like we're either going to be playing to win the national championship or struggling to make a bowl game, but I am super excited about it especially starting off with our first game, a rematch in Happy Valley of Penn State against Deke with Pittsburgh. Also wanted to point out that our whiteout will be October 11th against Oklahoma. The only reason it's then instead of against Pitt, so it can be a night game. I also wanted to show you guys the preseason Heisman watch list because Noah Kane is currently ranked fifth. Now remember, in the offseason, we promised him we would get him to a first round pick, and I think we can do that. A couple other familiar names, we've got Vincent Davis from Pitt, Kennedy Brooks from Oklahoma, and Sam Hartman from Wake Forest. The next thing that I wanted to show you guys was our depth chart. Starting at quarterback, we're going to be led by Taquan Roberson. At halfback, we've got Noah Kane, Devin Ford, Kevon Lee, and Keziah Holmes. So a really deep backfield, led by Noah Kane, an All-American. Then at fullback, we have walk-on Mike Wiggins, but we'll probably be playing Theo Johnson there. Wide receiver, we've got Jahan Dotson, Daniel George, Parker Washington, Keandre Lambert-Smith, which will be our top four guys. We've also got Lonnie White and Jaden Dotton, so a deep, deep room there. Tight ends, Bretton Strange, Theo Johnson, and true freshman, Walter Carlson, who I'm excited to see play. Starting at left tackle, we've got Rashid Walker, Olu Fashanu at left guard, Juice Scruggs is our center, Golden is our right guard, and then at right tackle, we've got Caden Wallace. Moving to the defensive side, we've got Adisa Isaac at left end, and Zariah Fisher at right end. Moving to our D tackles, we've got PJ Mustafer and Cole Brevard as our top two. We've also got Kaziah Izzard, Hakeem Beeman, and Nick Tarburton. At linebacker, we've got Jesse Lucetta on the left, Tyler Elsden and Brandon Smith in the middle, and then at right outside linebacker, we've got Curtis Jacobs. Moving into the secondary, we guaranteed Joey Porter Jr. a Big Ten Championship. We've got Johnny Dixon, Marquise Wilson in the slot, 
AJ Litton, and Keaton Ellis. Moving to free safety, we've got Jair Brown returning, and at strong safety, we've got Tyler Rudolph. Moving into the third phase of the game, which is special teams, we're going to have Jordan Stout as both our kicker and our punter. So clearly, I'm very happy with the team and just excited to watch them play some football. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was recruiting. And I think we're going to do this going position by position. Starting with fullback, John Harris. We'd love to get this guy because I would love a good fullback. Moving to wide receiver, this first week we're only putting points into Glenn Holt, but I think definitely through the year I'll put some more points into these guys. Just want to try and feel out if we'll be able to get him. Moving to tight end, we're putting some points into Ryan Parker and Jamal Gunn. Now, they're pretty similar scouting wise, but I just like Ryan Parker a little bit more, so we're going to be pushing a little bit harder for him at the start of this. Moving to tackle, we've got Brandon Brown, who is a great prospect that I'd love to get. And also, Jonathan Dobzinski, because he just looks and sounds like a guy you'd want on your offensive line. Taking a look at a prospect at center now, we have Tim McDonald, who's the number one center in the class, but only a four star. Then we'll also keep an eye on Jordan Jackson here as well, but probably going to stick with Tim McDonald and push harder for him for a good center. Moving through here to defensive tackle, we've got Mike Bass who looks to be a good prospect, a solid four star who I could see on our D-line someday. Outside linebacker, I really like this guy, Willie Jude, he seems like a good prospect. And then middle linebacker, we're going hard for the top two middle linebacker prospects in the nation with Corey Bonner and Scott Bryant. I think it would be hard to get either of these guys, but as long as we push hard, I really hope to get one. And then at cornerback, we're really going to be trying to build the best secondary in the nation. Starting off with these three guys, Frank Burnett, Thomas Lewis, and Damian Blake, who all have great stats and look like they'll be great prospects. So we're definitely going to push for these three guys, and hopefully Will Jackson and Dustin Alston a little bit later in the year. Also wanted to point out that I'm going to be trying to get a good kicker this year. Here's one that I found named Rich Miller, a power kicker who I'm interested in and hopefully we'll be able to get. An athlete we're looking at here is Michael Williams, he's a 5 star, and if you look at his stats, he looks like he has the makings of a great cornerback, so another guy that I'd absolutely love to add to our defensive backfield. But that's about it for recruiting, I'm happy with what we've got so far, and we'll just have to see what happens through the year. Well guys, that's about all I have for you in this episode, Penn State. Starts the season, rank number two in the preseason poll, and I can't wait to see what happens in this season. Our first game will be against Deke, a rematch in the Keystone Classic. Super excited for that, and I will see you there.